Hello everyone, welcome back to another watching. And just like I promised, I am finally getting around to doing some follow-ups. I have a ton. As a matter of fact, this one I had thought I had actually already done. This should tell you how far behind I am on some of these. Um, so we're gonna take a look at an AV8. Before we do that, we'll do a quick wrist check and you'll see that I am wearing that Ballast Trafalgar Tireless I love this thing. You guys have seen it in a couple videos now. And uh, I recommend you check out Ballast. They are in the links of this video below, as well as links to Aviate and to Spinnaker. I have promo codes with all three companies. So check them out, save yourself some money. Also, if you're into cars, check out my car channel. I am uh, trying to get a few subscribers over there. So every little click helps, right? So today we're gonna take a follow-up look at a watch from Aviate. So this one is the Hawker Hurricane Bullman Edition. Now this one is, let's take a look, it's an AV-4068-0. So the Bullman Edition gets its name from Captain Paul Ward Spencer Bullman. He was the chief, chief test pilot for the Hawker aircraft. Um, he was also known as George Bullman, um, and that's where it gets his name. I like that uh, Aviate took that piece of history to put into this piece right here. As you can see, it has a very cool multi-layered dial, and there's a bunch of different textures. Sorry, my lighting has been off lately. Let's see if I can get a little bit different angle there. But you can see there's a bunch of different textures going on on the dial. Some of it almost looks like scuffed metal. Other parts look like, uh, you know, it reminds me more of grip tape on a skateboard from my, my youth. And then, of course, you've got the subdials for the chrono. Um, and those look like they're encased in, you know, a bracket like what would be in an aircraft. And that's what I like about the AV8 pieces is they incorporate that. You can see we have a nice stainless steel case that actually almost looks like it was sandblasted. It has a really cool finish to this case. We've got a RAF Randall on the crown, one also on the dial there. And then the indices are recessed or cut away with, with loom in, in the indices there. We have a nice logo on their buckle. And Aviate uses a lot of really nice thick straps that tend to distress a little bit and just give a cool aged look to them as they go. Um, let me throw, well, before we throw it on wrist, let's take a look at something else I really like on the Aviates. If I can get it off the pillow here. Uh, there we go. All right. I like that they put, you know, pictures of the plane or inspiration on the back of these case backs. So you've got the Aviate Hawker Hurricane, you got the plane, water resistant, 50 meter, all stainless steel, quartz movement. The quartz movement in this one is a Japanese VD-51 chronograph movement. Let's go ahead and throw it on wrist really quick and then We'll take a look at it in the dark. So this one is, uh, I don't know if I said, this one is a 45 millimeter case. It is 12 millimeters thick. You see, I'm, I'm about, eh, I might even be able to squeeze into the next hole, but I'm four holes in on the leather strap. There's plenty of room if you have a bigger wrist. I have roughly a seven inch wrist, so it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea on how it would fit and actually I probably could have gone to that next hole. I just don't like over tightening, tightening the watch. Some people wear their watches super super tight and not me. I keep them a little loose. But I like the look of that one on the wrist. You know, if you guys have followed along and seen some of the other AV8 pieces, my pops has ended up with a bunch of them because he loves these aviation inspired watches. And I think AV8 really has some cool stuff. Let's go dark really quick, take a look at the loom, and we'll finish up in the light. Here we are in the dark, and you can see the loom already going a little bit, starting to fade a little. That's just from it being under my lights in the 
in the other room. Let's go ahead and hit it with the black light. And let's see how bright we can get that loom. There we go. Pretty solid loom all the way around. The only loom I'm not seeing are the hands for the second hand or either loom on these sub dials. Back in the light. So I'd love to know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. Uh, this one can be found on their site for $220, uh, I believe was the last time I checked. And you know, they have a lot of different styles. If you're into this aviation inspired piece, definitely go check it out and use the promo code. I believe it's watching 20 for the, or 29, watching 29 for the aviate. I will have that in the, uh, the video notes below. So use that promo code, save yourself some money. And, uh, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. As always guys, thanks for watching.